This is Archie, our banana VPI Exanthic. He was one of our awesome experiences off of Morph Market. We Morph Market will give you the opportunity to choose which animal you're looking for, whether you're looking for sand boa, boa constrictor, ball python, green tree snake, green tree python. You get to choose what animal you're looking for, and then you can choose your morphs, you can choose your sex, you can choose your age range, you can choose a price range. You can really specify what you're looking for, and preferably you know what you're looking for when you start looking. Once you've specified your criteria, you get a list of snakes that you can sort by price low to high, um, most relevant, oldest to youngest, however you want to sort it. And once you find the snake you're looking for, preferably it'll have a picture there. I wouldn't trust it if it didn't. Um, it'll give you, it'll take you to the description of the snake and the breeder's description. One of the most important things when you're looking at morph market is deciding whether or not the snake you're looking at exists and the breeder is actually reputable or the seller is reputable. Not everyone breeds the snakes that they're selling on there. I would suggest if you're going to purchase from morph market, definitely check reviews. If they are a first time seller or they have bad reviews and no reviews at all, um, ask for an Instagram, ask for a Facebook page. A lot of people have said they want a picture of the snake with a sticky note next to it with that person's name and the current date, just so that they can prove to themselves that this snake actually exists. When you purchase on Morph Market, please, check out that breeder, check out their social media page, check out their website, all of that. There have been several that we've found on Morph Market and then ended up buying from a website such as our pastel clown, Quinn. We got her from Mike Wilbanks, um, but I found her on Morph Market and followed the link to his Wilbanks captive bred reptiles. And that was probably one of the best experiences we've had purchasing from Morph Market because they have such a nice setup um, and shipping and everything. When I purchase from Morph Market, if I plan to negotiate, that's how I start off. I don't ask the seller a bunch of questions as if I'm interested in this snake, full price, everything like that, and then hit them with, oh, will you take $100 off? No, I, w I wouldn't do that. I would say, hi, I'm interested in your um, clown female. Would you sell her for, you know, 300 plus shipping? I don't know, I'm just making the price up. Respect the seller's prices when they say non-negotiable. Don't lowball, it's rude, <laughs> but that doesn't mean if it says they'll consider offers, it's not gonna hurt unless you're rude about it. So um, you can always negotiate prices or you can negotiate, um, I'll pay asking price if you cover shipping. That's really up to the seller and it's up to you to ask. Always ask the seller, what are they eating? How often do they eat versus what time do you usually feed them? You wanna know, are they eating frozen thawed? Are they eating once a week? Are they eating on Fridays? Are they eating? We have one snake that eats during the day and that's the only time he eats for us, and that's weird. If you're inexperienced, you know, some things to be careful about. If you expect to be feeding frozen thawed rat pups or frozen thawed mice, check and see what the snake is already eating. It's usually listed on there. If they are currently eating live ASFs, you might have a hard time switching them over to frozen thawed mice. Um, Really, especially if they're adults, it might be really hard to switch to frozen thawed if you're inexperienced in doing that. You might be able to get a little discount if you have a snake that's like one-eyed or has a little bit of a wobble. It might not be worth the discount because they may be difficult to feed. They may be difficult pets to keep. You know, you can ask the seller, you can, um, check and see like does their wobble affect their feeding response uh have they ever like injured themselves does same with a one-eyed snake because you see a couple of those on morph market there are a lot of different ways that you can pay the seller 
you don't actually pay Morph Market itself. Morph Market doesn't handle the transactions when you purchase snakes. Generally, it will be PayPal, Square Up, Cash App, Venmo, one of those online payments. Just be careful when you're paying with these because PayPal friends and family and Venmo and I believe Cash App are really hard to get refunds for if something goes wrong. Uh, PayPal to business is one of the best ways to get refunds, but a lot of people actually won't accept non-friends and family payments. They want the friends and family payment because that way they pay less fees. Um, because they pay less fees, it's less safe for you, the purchaser. So just be careful with where you're putting your money, especially if it's a lot of money. What they'll do is they'll coordinate a time with you that best works for both of you to ship. Normally it'll be between a Tuesday and Thursday and they'll do overnight through FedEx because that's like the only shipper who um, offers overnight. And I don't think they even guarantee live arrival right now, just with all the COVID and weather and everything like that um, and holidays because it's Christmas today. <laughs> uh, so when, ooh, sorry bud. Um, so when you're purchasing, you want to look for warm nights because they will be overnight in the carrier facility. You want um, to generally, if you live close enough to a hub, ship hub to hub because if you're not home, they won't just leave it on your doorstep. And if they do, that's just as bad. Hub to hub is a safe way to pick up your animal and to get it to you safely. And, you know, it's a little less time that it's on a truck. And it's a stressful experience for these snakes. So if you can manage it, that's what I would suggest. Once you get your shipment, it's going to be a box with um, normally coated in styrofoam to keep it in place. They'll usually have maybe some shredded paper or something to keep that animal steady and either in a deli dish or a snake bag. Um, if it's going to be a little chilly, they'll have a hand warmer in there to keep their body temperatures up. Um, but yeah, so you'll get your little shipment of a live snake and it's up to you to take care of it at that point. Check it out, look it over look at their belly, look at their body condition, make sure that what was shipped to you is what you had ordered. If you can probe or pop your snake and <laughs> to sex it correctly, I suggest doing that. We have some unboxing videos that y'all could check out if you wanna see what the snakes look like when they're packaged up. If you're a first time snake buyer and you're kinda of nervous about having it shipped to you. The first snake that we purchased was from Dynasty Reptiles. I did not get him off of Morph Market. I found him directly on the site and I was super nervous. Had him shipped directly to the house. Um, I had Steven work from home that day so that he could pick him up. And I still ended up leaving work early to be like, where's my snake? Is he safe? Is he fine? By the time I got home, he was totally fine. We've never had a bad experience shipping snakes. Absolutely, when you get your snake, please quarantine it. <laughs> uh, you might think, you know, that is if you have other reptiles, if it's your only reptile, that might not be super important. But you might think, oh, we came from a reputable breeder. Um, I don't have mites at home. I don't have a problem with it. None of my snakes are sick. Uh, it's not gonna hurt you to quarantine the animal, but it could hurt your animals not to quarantine. All it takes is one mite. All it takes is one snake with mites. And inevitably, you've got five or six <laughs> that all have mites. And if one of them gets a respiratory infection, that is also contagious and can seriously hurt your snakes. Quarantine them in a different room if possible, because if they do have mites, they'll be your only snake with mites and it'll be easy to get them off. If you end up with two, then you're gonna end up with four, then you're gonna end up with six. We preventatively treat for mites as well as check for mites. Um, we haven't had any experience with respiratory infection. I think at one point we thought one of our snakes had a respiratory infection just because of the way he was periscoping and he yawned and had some saliva in his mouth. 
um, but I think it was because he had gotten a bath that day because we've never seen anything like that again. So hopefully this video has helped you out if you're interested in purchasing a reptile off of Morph Market and had a few questions. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. Just send us a message. We're on Instagram at Leviathan period snakes. We respond to all of our direct messages, love answering questions for people and helping people out who might need advice. And I know you hear this on every single YouTube video, but he's nodding at me in the background telling me I have to tell you this. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Let us know if you want a sticker. Uh, but thanks again for watching and we'll see you again.